Hey guys, this video is brought to you by Linode, one of my favorite companies. I've been doing business with Linode for eight years now. They're growing all over the world. They're opening data centers all over the place. Mine is in New Jersey. However, they're opening up in Canada, Australia, India, everywhere. Uh, Linode makes it easy and affordable to host your app. Like I pay $20 a month. I've scaled it to 250,000 customers in a single month with just using about five to 10% of my available resources on a $20 a month account. So if you guys are looking to host something yourself, there's really no better company that I recommend than Linode. So make sure you guys check them out. The link is in the description tab below. Hey guys, what up? Good evening. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Stack Overflow and just see um, a few other things as well. All right, so um, the first thing I'll mention is, since this is about Stack Overflow, is the CEO just got replaced. Um, Joel Spolsky is like, he's been the CEO and one of the founders of Stack Overflow, which has been a sort of a game changer, a life changer, I think, for a lot of developers out there. Um, and Joel just recently announced that he is um, he's now enacted a new CEO. He's, he's still going to be chairman of the board, which is really like still like the head of the company. But uh, there's this new guy named uh, Prashanth, who is now going to be the... Anyway, Prashanth, he's, he's uh, very educated, went to Harvard. So clearly a real smart dude. I think what's going on under the hood, though, is that Joel is actually stepping aside, hopefully not to find a scapegoat, but he's going to find somebody who's more of a financial guy because I think Stack Overflow is probably looking to sell their product. Stack Overflow is written on the .NET framework. It's probably the largest web application that uses .NET that I can think of, maybe besides Microsoft, but I think even Stack Overflow is probably bigger than any Microsoft site that is out there as far as web traffic. But I think Stack Overflow has a few things that, that um, are problems at the moment. Now, number one, Joel Spolsky, I, I do want to mention, like he came out recently, a couple years ago, I did a video on it. A couple people even did videos. I remember John Samez did a, uh, a, a video that was actually in response to the video I did. But it was about essentially how Joel was um, urging other companies to get developers when they hire them to sign you know, these non-compete disclosures and also basically to give up any sort of rights and creative freedoms that they have outside of their work. So all these, you know, I would imagine if most developers are like me, and I think a lot of them are, you want to work on your side projects because you're thinking about how can I do something fantastic with it? You're not thinking about how can I take this technology and work an extra six hours a day to try to you know, instill somebody else's vision. So the reason why I didn't like it was simply because like I am one of those guys that was able to take my own creative free time and I was able to make myself a better develop a developer through that. And it's always come back around and it's made it's always worked out for the company that I'm working for that the, the technologies and such that I'm learning on the side. It usually comes around full tilt where I, I can then contribute to the company that I'm working for. Um, and it also creates all kinds of lucrative opportunities to work for other companies as well, which for most developers, we all want to try to future-proof ourselves, so we're always trying to learn what new technology we can we can you know learn to ch try to be more competitive in this in this global workforce that we have to contend with. So when Joel came out with that article, somebody like him, he has a lot of clout, like he has more clout than Chris Hawks, and I just didn't like the fact that he was basically urging people to treat their software engineers as shit, you know, basically as as pieces of property. And uh, a lot of people have talked about this, you know, like uh, the, the work that you do for your company. And, you know, some people, especially young millennials fresh out of college, you know, they, they think companies actually care about them. Um, I, I'm not going to touch upon that too much. Like I do like collecting paychecks from companies that I work for, but there is no question if they fire your ass, like they're not just, they don't care if you got kids, they, if, they don't care if you got cancer or whatever, you're gone, your, your benefits are gone. Um, in many cases, there's no severance. Like it's just like you need to look out for yourself, and that is first and foremost, always. So when somebody like Joel comes out with an article, basically taking away from many developers' creative freedoms, I worked for a company in Richmond where I had to sign non-compete uh, agreements. Even to this day, you know, years after leaving the company, I can't have any sort of product that is in line with what they were doing based on those contracts that I signed because of people like Joel Spolsky. So one of the main things that pisses me off this day and age is that there are so many people that run technology companies where it's status quo to be a straight up asshole. Like, and I really think that this speaks volumes because one of the problems Stack Overflow has is that like, it's like, oh, you're a beginner guy. You're just learning how to program. Um, 
not a very friendly community for a lot of people that are just getting started. And I think that, you know, based on years past that Stack Overflow is the only place that we can go to to get answers. So these young aspiring developers will go on the, the Stack Overflow, they'll post a question and, uh, and they'll be like, hey, you know, hey, sir, can you help me out with this, you know, this question? And people will be like, hey, man, fuck you. You know, like that, it, there's so many responses on Stack Overflow that number one are bullshit. And then number two are just downright mean and kind of despicable to new developers that are just getting started. So I don't think it's a very open atmosphere for new developers at all. I also don't like how these companies think that they can just operate with impunity, meaning that they can just do whatever the fuck they want without any sort of like lash, you know, lashback or anything. Um, like in, in their latest thing is that if you look at their, like if you go to Stack Overflow here, all right, so we're on the main page and not on the blog. You can see I'm a member of Stack Overflow. I've been on Stack Overflow for many years. In fact, when I first started going to Stack Overflow, it wasn't a very good place to get actual answers to, to questions. In many cases, there was all these different niche sites, uh, different small business owners that own these sites that had the answers to the questions that you were looking for, specifically Pearl when I was first getting started. But Stack Overflow was a great place to go for just like discussion about like the overall industry and like what language was better versus this and that and all that stuff. It kind of inspired my channel actually a little bit as far as some of the things that I've talked about, like top 10 languages, like clearly nobody knows, but like there's obviously interest in that discussion from a bunch of, you know, unfortunately immature programmers that don't really know better. But here's the problem right here. Um, this creative commons, like everybody that's contributed content to stack overflow did it under a creative commons 3.0 license, which basically states that if you're going to change the license to something else, you have to get the, the people that contributed to your site, you have to get their permission. And that's what the creative commons 3.0 license says. But Stack Overflow, with all their impunity and everything, and probably because they're looking to get bought by Microsoft or who knows, but they just went ahead and upgraded it on September 5th to a 4.0. And then when people actually brought attention to the matter, there's no response from Stack Overflow. So again, just like some of the asshole users on the site that basically say fuck you to these beginners, that's about what the company has said to anybody that questioned their they're God given, you know, like, I, you know, I don't know. They basically, they think they're gods or whatever that they can just upgrade their license to a 4.0. And as an example, like if I go here and I look at some of the answers that I've given, like here's one 50, 55 upvotes or something. And it's not even the corrected answer, by the way, which shows you how broken this site is. I have a 55 upvoted question. And then there's this thing that I'm downvoting on the 18 because it's the accepted answer by the guy that actually wrote it, which isn't even the right answer. It's that's the kind of typical bullshit. But number uh, but the thing I'm trying to point out is that if you look at the footer, it says uh, Creative Commons 4.0 license. I never agreed to that. I never contributed to the, And it's not like I disagree with the license. I don't want to bring that up. Like, I, I don't disagree with the 4.0 versus the 3.0. But when you do give your information freely to the community, trying to help the like the overall community, because I was just trying to help people out by saying, hey, this is the problem. And. I did that under a Creative Commons 3.0 license and then Stack Overflow takes it upon themselves or Stack Exchange Incorporated to just bump it up to a 4.0, which is probably not even legal. And then when people question them about it, they basically say, just like these, you know, these, these, these guys that respond to shit, they're like, hey, fuck you, you know, like we're not going to even respond. So it, it, it just kind of reminds me like Joel Spolsky is probably not in the same like level of the person like that's been in the news lately from WeWork, uh, you know, just but it, it, it seems like there is this status quo of just being a and when you're running a technology company. So another thing I'm going to mention, too, is that Stack Overflow now has a new CEO. They're probably looking to be purchased. And one of the funny things I find about Stack Overflow now is I don't even go here to get my, my, the answers to the questions that I have. Once you become a senior engineer, I, like, I don't read computer books anymore. I rarely watch any computer tutorials. I go to the official documentation. And then when there's something actually wrong, like based on the official documentation, or there's some sort of like operating system, system like clash or something, you know where I go? I go to GitHub. GitHub has all that stuff. So if you're dealing with JavaScript, guns blazing in the air, people changing shit like every other week, the best place you go is like word of mouth. Where is the code actually hosted? And the solutions are now in GitHub issues 
And that's where I go. Like nine times out of 10. In fact, I only go to Stack Overflow now to shoot the crap. Like I just go here to shoot the crap, maybe answer a question or two, and then just see what people are talking about. So I think there's more at play to this CEO change. I mean, he's staying as chairman of the board. I think this license thing is going to come back to bite him. They're going to be looking to sell this product to Microsoft. Microsoft bought GitHub. They're buying all the developer circles because they're nearly a trillion dollar programming company or IT tech company. And um, they're going to buy Stack Overflow most likely. But if all the developers actually got together and said, hey, we have a problem with the fact that you can't just take all of our free freely given information to help the community, which l let's be honest, this company is making billions off of other people's work. They created a platform, but we provided the knowledge. And it's like the same argument with open source. Like it's almost to the point now where I know, I mean, you got Facebook employees jumping off the roof. You got Uber employees killing themselves. They're, like I don't, I'm not necessarily saying that we need to unionize, but like there, at some point in time, there may, be, there may need to be a conversation where developers may need to look at, at things and say, you know what, maybe I shouldn't freely give my knowledge, the knowledge that I had blood, sweat, and tears and could have ruined marriages and maybe like took time away from their children. They gained that knowledge, they gave it freely, and then platforms like Stack Exchange are now controlling it and then doing whatever the fuck they want to do with it. Even if it's not even legal. So yeah, I'm not trying to give the CEO a hard time. I don't even know who this guy is. He's probably a great guy. His education is very impressive. He's going to take over a, a, a project that is about to change. I think Stack Overflow is definitely going to get bought. And like Stack, you know, it's, it's owned by a company called Stack Exchange Incorporated, which was started by Joel Spolsky and another guy, uh, Jeffrey Atwood, I believe. And, um, and, and these guys are billionaires and they're billionaires off of our hard work. And then they're trying to fuck us in return. So, you know, I just don't like it. I don't like it. 